we're floating in. We do our maneuver to line up for this runway, but I think we're coming down a little hot. It's really, really high, but I'm feeling pretty confident. You know, I've done stuff like this before. I just need to get across, get the flag, and ring the bell. Done deal. All right, Destiny, ready? Go! Justin's fall is, oof, like he crushed the family jewel. Just will ice that down for you later, Dustin. Let go! Let go! Let go! All right, cook it, Conrad. You ready? It's clock. Ah! She's not a happy frog. Knock the wind out of me. You guys ready? Yeah, bro. Just keep your weight low and drag yourself up, OK? Watching Evelyn do poorly kind of gives me confidence that I'm going to look much better winning. It's me for I don't think I've ever seen a fall that vicious. Carly comes up making the noise of perhaps like a pregnant manatee or a dying whale. You have no idea how bad it is to hit that water, but I pull myself together really quick. I am the kind of person that's never going to give up. OK, you guys got one minute left. I can't get up the wall for two reasons. The first part is it's slippery. And the second part is my helmet's falling in front of my eyes. So it's a little disheartening. Use your feet, girl. Use your feet. <laughs> Go! Get your feet up. Grab it. Her helmet doesn't fit. She can't swim. What's going on with you, sweetheart? Get your feet. I am pissed. The time is shot, so I just want to finish so that people can see us finish a challenge. Get your feet up. Don't let your knees touch it. Use your feet, girl. Use your feet. There you go. There you go. Get behind her. No. 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 Oh, God. Helicopter, I don't even think about the height. I don't think about falling. Only thing I see is green, and it's not the grass. When I saw Hunter fall, I thought either he broke an ankle or he just up his spine. My adrenaline is going so fast. I'm not sure how far I fell from. Lucky to be somewhat OK right now.
I can't believe that I missed the jump, and I'm, I'm out of breath because it knocked, it knocked the wind out of me. I can't, Corey. I can't do this. I don't care. I can't Come do on, this. Babe. Come on, babe. No. Come on, babe. Out. We got the farthest. I'm good. Let's do this. I'm not gonna let you fall. I'm gonna let you stand up there. I got you. Go, <laughs> no, bud. Come on, Ashley. Come on, Corey. You're doing great. Here we go. Come on. Let go. On three. One. Two. <laughs> got you, Ashley. Let's finish. We didn't come this far just to say, hey, we got the furthest. We're done. I'm trying to win. Yeah! Got it! Oh, time. Come on. I'm getting weak. Ready? 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 Three, two, two, one. Go. Like they're on fire. My one hand's numb. Everything happens so fast. I'm scared. Y'all, dude. So I've got one arm. I'm trying to pedal because Corey's big ass is coming right for my head. <laughs> I'm not gonna need like any like dishes or anything like that, no? Nope. What about a shot of tequila? Is that okay right now? That I can handle. Please, just please. That I can give you. That's my girl. You didn't quit. You did it anyway. You said, F it, let's go. I know she's got some, some scars she'll like to show off. You know, she's wrapped up shoulder to shoulder. I got a little something, but hey, we're ready for the next challenge. We're and, ready um, to go again. If y'all want us to go again, we're ready. <laughs> yeah. Put us back up there. I'm feeling confident. I gotta get this win today because I need to be in a striker and I wanna get some money in my bank account. Watching your best friend emerge out of the water, lifeless, it's absolutely terrifying. I slip. How you I it. it just seems like a curse. Every season, it seems like something bad happens to Leroy. He might have really seriously injured himself, and I'm hoping that he's okay. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back. My heart is beating out of my chest. I'm ready to go. I'm pumped. I'm amped. I'm telling my dude, we're doing flips. We're doing barrel rolls. I want the works. Mustard and mayo. Coming around for the landing, and I see the strip, and it doesn't look like grass. It's a dirt road filled with stones. Honestly, I'm a little nervous as this landing. sore right now on my calf, really tender. It looks like somebody shot me in the ass with buckshot. The way my shorts look afterward. <laughs> look at your shorts, dude. <laughs> That's how he landed. Holy <laughs> We're floating in. We do our maneuver to line up for this runway, but I think we're coming down a little hot. Jordan. Ah. 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 
What the? We just crash landed. Skydiving. The race hasn't even started. It hasn't even started yet. And I'm out. I'm done. Oh, ankles. What if he snapped his knee? Like, what if Jordan can't compete? To have this ripped away from him right now would be horrible. I just need to move. I really want to move. So I can just walk it off. I really like to just walk it off. <sighs> no, I'm not bleeding. I'm not bleeding. It just hurt. Where are my shoes? I want out. As long as I can have shoes, I just walk. No, my knee. What happened? Dude, we slammed. I don't know. I haven't listened to my time. My, my knees were what hit first. <sighs> Something's all right. Are you? What are you going to do? You could just bow out, and you went out really cool, crash landing, skydiving. You know? Like, who's going to fault you for that one? Or you could nut up. Do this final, and they'll be like, he's a hero. He just did this on a broken leg. And that's what I'm going to do. He has hops like a mother. He's like a little frog. Hold it, CT. CT's the last one to go, and he has the hardest job of all, because he has to hold on, keep his feet up from dragging on the sand, and do it for a minute. So please hold on. Hold that. You guys are beautiful. Good, good job, Steve. Good, good job, guys. Good job, lean, buddy, baby. Good. I look over at CT, and his feet are a centimeter above the sand. And I'm thinking, if you drop, I will kill you. I pull off my favorite pose, crouching Buddha, hidden Yoda. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. Nine Mississippi. Man! Kill it. Team Devin came and we conquered. I think this is my good luck wig. I'm excited that we won. Team Devin, don't mess with us. Start swinging. Adam, go, go. Two, three, go. Come on now. Adam, boy, your feet and jump, boys. Come on, ready? And it finally dawns on me, we have to swing together in unison so that both of our weight is suspended. It's not really all about strength. It's all about communication and working with your teammate. Guys, hold the bar! I'm really starting to question whether or not putting in Evan and Nehemiah against CT and Adam was the right move because they're absolutely in the bed right now. Come on, one more. That's it. One more. One more. This challenge comes down to core strength and teamwork and Evan and Nehemiah don't have it, especially Evan. He looks like a beached whale out there. One more, ready? One more! One more, go you, Adam! Evan's plan backfired. We took a little paw away from the mob. How you like me now? I'm still here. All right, 10 minute round for the win. CT Cara Maria versus Louie and Lolo. Ready? I'm finally fighting to win money for my charity. Like, I am just prepared to fight and battle to the end. Stay low, stay low, just bury your feet and stay low. Lolo really losing ground right away. CT is such a bull, man. Come on. Walk together, guys. Lolo, get closer. I can't. Get it down. Man, those grunts by CT are scary. Walk together. Walk together. Finish strong. Let's go, Black. Anchoring in right now. The champs have about five yards to go, and they win this team challenge. Look at Lolo fighting. Look at Louie fighting. They got endurance, man, and they're proving it. Boston strong! Have a hook. 
<laughs> we beat the pros. We beat the pros. You guys don't make anything easy, do you? Guys, boss and strong, huh? Yeah. Finals. Oh. All right, boys, ready? There's so much riding on this elimination round. CT has been sent in uh, by me, and I know that if he wins, he'll probably be coming back with a vengeance. One well, quick strike. I am flabbergasted. All I see is drywall and smoke fly through the air. up on the pull-up bar, this drywall. So every time I'm reaching for it, it's just ripping. And that's not looking good at all, but it's also happening to CT, so this gives me faith. Good job, boys! Come on, lead boy. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I'm thinking about is that bell. Good job, boys. Good job, Leroy. Good job, CT. Good job. Two time, brother. It's close. Oh, it wasn't like I got murdered. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Good boys. My worst nightmare has just uh, come true because CT is coming back to the house. Still got it. Looks like this guy still has plenty of gas in the tank. CT, go ahead and rejoin the group. You're still going for the big money, man. See you when I get home. As much as everybody would want me to go home, it's not going to happen. Uh, I've proved myself time and time again. All class. OK, guys, we're going to the tiebreaker. So rookies, who do you guys send? Derek. All right, veterans, who you got? I'm going to have to step up and make a play, because if not, I'm going in anyway. So I might as well just put the ball in my own hands. It comes down to CT versus Derek. I have complete confidence in CT. He is not only a really great competitor, but he's out of his mind. Let's go, Derek! I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. You know, I've, I've got to get it done. You guys ready? Go! Go! Keep my hand on the ball from underneath his left arm, and with my right arm, I'm peeling off his other arm. Sooner or later, that thing was gonna pop. Me and Wes walk into this makeshift hospital tent where there is just all kinds of decaying body organs on the table. We're going to suck it up, though. Completely consume all the food or liquid and the number of receptacles. We must complete them in numerical order. You cannot move on until the current item is complete or consumed at the bottom of your final jar. Right. You will find a key used to unlock the cabinet right. inside. Find your idol and proceed. We have to take down a plate full of chilies, pickled fish soup, worms, crickets, and maggots, this fruit called Dorian, and dried squid. It's going to be the worst room of all. Oh, dude, you're hot. Swallow my pills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. My entire face starts sweating on the right side, and it just is hurting so much. Everything is on fire. I am the god of hell. Disgusting. Bring you fire. Oh. to break this glass. It was nothing. Ready? Everybody's welcome to the 
Wes is having a little trouble with his poop suit, so I uh, step it up and just start chugging it like it's a beer. This stuff is so gross. I didn't want to know what that thing was hanging out of my mouth. Don't even tell me. Don't tell me what that thing was. All right, guys, on your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> He's like a mother. He's like a little frog. CT's one of the strongest, if not the strongest guy. He's doing well, and he's kind of going fast. Damn. That ain't no joke, is it? CT had a good run. It'll be close, but I think he grabbed a few more than I did. You got this. You got this. Go, Jenny! Tonight, you guys are going to be playing back up off me. When I say go, you're gonna try to drag your opponent over to your own barrel and knock it over. This kid's a monster, and it's gonna take everything that I've got to weather his storm. I don't care who it is, I'm just going straight for the barrel. Get this party going. All right, boys, keep it clean. You ready? Go! <laughs> just happened? CT looks like freaking Godzilla. I've never seen a grown man look so scary in my life. He just gets up and he's doing like this transformer power walk with the Boston mumble. And he carries his custom made Johnny Banana's backpack to the barrel in about five seconds. I can't even believe I'm actually witnessing this. I will tell my grandchildren about this. I'm looking up at the sky at the stars, enjoying this beautiful night we have here in Prague, only to be rudely interrupted by being uh, dropped onto a metal trash can. Today's challenge is called I'll Be There For You. As you can see behind me, we have a very beautiful lake, nice dock, but what you can't see is that there's a giant platform submerged 15 feet under that water. Now, chained to that deck are weighted chests. You and your partner are gonna start in the water. Then when I say go, one of you is gonna swim down, pick up that chest off the deck. That chest cannot touch that deck ever again. So you're gonna hold it as long as possible. Now at any moment, your partner can swim down and relieve you so that you're able to swim to the surface and take a breath. You guys are gonna be trading places, handing off this chest. As soon as the chest touches the floor or both of your heads are above water, your time is stopped and that's your, that's your score. And the two teams with the longest time We'll be battling it out in one final round. The team that wins that final round will win today's challenge. You will each receive this InFocus X9 Digital Home Theater Projector. Wow. I'm going first, and I'm mad, because <laughs> I can't see what other people are doing, and I can't hear their comments after they go. Being picked first sucks. Immediately, it's like you're getting stabbed with a thousand cold knives. It's just really a bad situation. I'm putting a lot of faith in Luke, and I hope that he's gonna be able to pull his own weight. You ready? Go! Okay, Brandon, you guys are out? Like an idiot, I just dive down and drink a lot of water. As soon as I touch it, I know that I'm not going to last long. So instead of, you know, killing myself, I just let the chest go. Are you yeah. I just, I can't hold it. The feeling of, of drowning is not a fun one. Running out of air underwater, anybody panics. Okay, you guys are done. Good job. Oh, 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 oh,
Here you go. Turn over the wall, Chad. Come on. Chad just seems a little bit out of it, and and that's scary, man, because that's that could be a 35, 40 foot fall on an on the water, man. Water becomes concrete. My head is spinning. My head is throbbing. Colors are very distorted. Everybody looks very dark, but the trees look extremely fluorescent, like this bright fluorescent green. Go, go! You got this, Chad! Good job, baby! Keep it up! Go, Chad! Chad, you're almost there, turning kick. Let's go, Chad! Go, Chad! You're there! Oh, my head. Oh, sweet, so Honestly, I'm right. so dizzy right now. Are you feeling any pain? Or is it just nausea? It's really nauseated and my head hurts. Okay. And the problem. colors seem really weird. Okay. Chad looks like a zombie. His skin is very pale. He has no pupils at all. But I'm thinking, this is really serious. Chad leaves in an ambulance. Me and Camilla are up next. I am very nervous. I do not want to fall off this board. This is scary. One person's going to start on that rock over there. And when I say go, they're going to jump in, swim to those balls. They're then gonna dive down with the ball, deposit the ball into a net, come back up, and tag the red buoy right there. Then another person is gonna jump in, do the same exact thing. You're gonna continue this process over and over again until a treasure chest floats to the surface. You're then gonna drag it over to the finish line as fast as you can. Big jump. <laughs> These are the challenges I thrive on. Thousand percent, I'm more nervous about the swimming. You know, I just gotta keep going, try to keep my pace, and not drown. All right, Jenny, Ninja, you guys ready? I will have a heart attack in the water before I stop. I'm like Terminator, I'm like a machine. Once you program me to do something, I'm doing it to the end. Jenny is proving herself time and time again. She's gonna be a force to be reckoned with on this challenge and future challenges to come. is that this is a swimming competition because she's doing some sort of weird backwards dance and no one really knows what's happening. She's going the wrong way. This way, Ninja, this way! She's throwing it, dude. If one leg is stronger than the other and it's kicking, it's going to put you in a circle. When it comes to swimming, oh, she, she, has, she has a life jacket on. There is no way Ninja is this poor of a swimmer. Ninja is either throwing this challenge so that we lose on a guy's day, or she is out there having a stroke. She has a life jacket on! My nephew is three and he can swim better than that. Ninja! This is basically no performance. Ninja swims like a piece of driftwood, and it's a guy's elimination day, so hopefully we can get the win. Yes, Ninja! This water feels like molasses. I'm trying to follow one little cloud, but that cloud is lying to me. Ninja! Ninja! What the heck is going on right now? Um, the boat's that way, honey. Ninja! Where are you going? Come on! Yeah! 
Okay, tonight you guys are playing crunch. To begin, each player is gonna be positioned on their bamboo in a crunch position with 40 pounds of weight on your chest. Now that's not gonna be very easy, but the only option that you have is to release your ab muscles, dunking you underwater upside down. Either way, it's not gonna be a party. Crunch is a dunk tank that you will be hanging over upside down. You're gonna need a lot of leg and ab muscles. Basically, just don't drown. You decide you wanna quit and wanna give up, pull your emergency release valve, and you're automatically done. Person that lasts the longest will win tonight's elimination round, win the other person's money, and stay in the game. Loser goes home empty-handed. And tonight, we're starting with the girls. So Johanna, Sarah, get ready. I feel like the only way to go into a ruin is with confidence, because I think the person who gives up in their mind first is the person who's going to lose. Sarah really wants to be here. I, you know, didn't know if I really wanted to be here, but I do know that I want that money. All these games are mental, and I just got to give it my all. Champions, you ready? Challenges, you ready? Go! Hold it, Joe! Joe, Joe you hold it, Joe! Go, ladies, come on! Joey, you both are at the same place. Just stay focused. Watching Johanna, I'm a little worried because she seems like she doesn't have a position on the water, whereas Sarah seems to be using the water as a tool to keep her above. Good job, good job, Joe. Stay, stay tough. I don't feel anything in the ab crunch zone. It's more just me holding myself up with my legs, taking deep breaths, and relaxing. Take a shot of I think everybody kind of has a feeling that my head is not there. I just don't want to let them down, you know? I don't want them to think that I'm just like rolling over and just letting Sarah beat me. Good job, Joey. You stay tough. Stay tough, Joey. Stay tough. Stay tough, Joey. Just hang. Good job, Joey. You stay strong. Watching Johanna submerge underwater and pull the cord is devastating because I realize I'm stuck with the crazy boys and I'm sad because I've lost a friend here. Can I win? Yep. Yeah, you're going. Sarah Dawson, awesome. I'm glad we have somebody that motivated and excited to be here because God knows the rest of us want to shoot ourselves in the face. Congratulations, Sarah, on winning tonight's elimination round. You're still in the game. You get Johanna's bank account directly deposited into your individual bank account. Go ahead and rejoin your team. Now I've got a ton of money in my bank account, and I feel so good. Nobody else I wanted yeah, to get my more. Than you, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, it's going to be Las Vegas versus St. Thomas in a mental game. And tonight, you guys are playing water torture. Now, you've seen this before, but I'll explain it again. All right, as you can see, there are two giant water tanks, and there are two giant puzzles. This is a good old-fashioned game of memory. Each of them is connected by a rope system, because one of you guys is going to be hanging from one end, while the other one is hanging from the other end of that rope by their ankles. Now, when I say go, the guy hanging from their ankles is going to pull themselves down the line into the tank, which will, in turn, raise their partners up. Now, the further you go down in this tank, the higher your partner goes up. And the longer you hold your breath, the longer they have to memorize that top puzzle. All right? And when you come up for air, that'll in turn lower them back down so they can start recreating the puzzle at the bottom. The first team to complete their puzzle will stay in the game, win tonight's elimination round, and go back to the house and go for the big money. All right? It's getting late in the game, guys. You don't want to go home now. You're so close to the money. Good luck, you guys. Hey, Justin, how's it hanging? Uh, hanging, hanging for the birds. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? Sure. Go down up a little. Yeah, I went all the way to the top. Go down, look, go up a little bit. All we're gonna try and do is just take care of the top pieces first and then work our way down. This way, I can exert as least amount of energy as I have to towards the end. 
The more I'm pulling down closer to the bottom of this tank, the harder it's getting. And holding your breath is even harder after you've given everything you got just to get to the bottom. All the way! All the way down. All the way down. Dustin looks like he has this contraption in his backyard. If this is his game, he's dominating. This kid's an amphibian. That's right. Dustin and I are making this mental arena look so good right now. We're doing it fast, we're communicating well. It's not right yet. No? And then I'm like, oh my god. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Guys, hurry up! is the third one. guys, right. hustle up. There you go. One more Looking down. Good, one right. Right. Stay right there. One more row down. There you go. You're doing great, baby. All right, all right. Uh, okay. Come on, Dustin, come on. Come on. Good. Good. All right, Las Vegas, you win. We did it. did it. Ah! Dustin, you did it. Dustin. We did it. Dustin, good uh, job. I'm, I'm scared, but I don't want to be going into elimination, so there's no backing out now. And Jose is now going in. Salida was not able to go. Jose is trying to swim. Oh, wow, I don't think Jose can actually swim. Are you kidding me? Is he serious? Is he serious right now? Yo, he can't swim. He can't swim. Be calm, be calm. The panic that he's feeling right now is Awful. My hands are shaking, my body's shaking. I don't want to die. He actually jumped into a deep end of a pool just to try to make sure that he actually can do it. Wow, that is brave. So I know exactly what's about to happen. Jose and I, we're going into elimination. We have a giant yacht out there for you guys. You guys are going to swim from that yacht to a flag 150 feet away. Oh. Underwater. No. Today, you guys are playing Air Pocket. Here's how it's going to work. There are six Air Pockets. Now, each Air Pocket only has enough room for two people. First person is going to jump off that boat. You're going to go to that first Air Pocket. The second person is going to jump in and join them. You're going to keep on going all the way down the line until you get to that flag. Then swim as fast as you can all the way back to the boat. All right, guys, you ready? Good job, Johnny. Ready, go. It's a surreal feeling. Here we are, submerged deep underwater, and the only thing keeping me alive is basically having my head in a fish tank. I'm not expecting a whole lot out of Rihanna. She might look like a sea creature, but she sure doesn't swim like one. Sounds like an airplane. Wow. about to be in that box. Hi, right, Rihanna. You're out. Go, Cara, go! Come on, Cara, dig, dig! Match your breath, big breath. Challenge, I'm bailing. I tried. Let's go, A. Let's go, Finn. We know we're trying to get rid of each other. I can just reach out, just get a hold of John. All I would have to do is just drown him just a little bit. Johnny and Abram in a box. What is this? <laughs> 
As much as Abe said that he wants to see me in a pit, I don't think he wants any part of that. Plus, if he threw this, it would totally shoot holes in Abe and Mike's claims of being these upstanding noble gentlemen that play this game the right way. <laughs> Them while he's swimming. We've got these GoPros strapped on. We're swimming. There's air tanks. This is cool, you know? It feels like John and I are on some kind of like Navy SEAL mission. I might not escape this time. See, the relationship that Cam and I have in the house is kind of weird. She's the only girl that's in my alliance. We've never even spoken game. I think it's just obvious that she's my number one and I'm her number one. I'm coming in as an assassin. That's just all I'm here to do. I'm not here to win any money. I'm just here to with everyone else's game. Hold up, Killer Cam is out now, I'm ready. Cam, body her. Girl, you better give it, cause I ain't gonna give up. All right girls, the score is one nothing, Tori. Cam, you gotta win this one to stay in the game. Girls ready? go either way now. Whoever wants it the most, they ain't gonna send me home on my first elimination. Ooh. Girls ready? Next point wins. Girls ready? Go!
he's using up all the energy because that guy is like 250. All right, boys, the score is one zip. You ready? I played football in middle school, but I never was on the field. I just don't want to hurt my pretty face. Most people here are rooting for Kenny and West because they're like the veterans, but I would rather see the underdogs win. Supposedly Tyree played football for Nebraska. At this point, I'm thinking Tyree's a bit of a liar. Okay, guys, this is a great battle. Score is two zip. Tyree and Davis, you don't score this time, you're out. So make it happen. Come on, Davis. I got this bitch Kenny push my head into the ground. The anger that me and Davis have right now is enough to get us motivated. I didn't come here to lose. I my arms of failure. at me hard, but I still got one more point to go, and I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna bring it right back at him. Bear, one more point, and you win. Wes, you gotta pick it up. Wes, give your everything. This is last chance. Wes, you did it to yourself. You gave me all the ammunition that I needed to take a shot at you, and I just need Bear to come through and finish the job. You know what you're doing, Bear, come on. Go, Bear, you got this. his panties and spanked him in front of the entire house. And it was, uh, it was a pretty impressive sight to see. Tonight just could not get any better. It's your ex, Nani. It's yours. This is what Nani's been asking for, for as long as I can remember, to get her hands on three sets. So get your popcorn ready, because this is going to be a dog fight. All right, Teresa and Nani. Teresa, you guys got a one-point lead. You win this, you go straight to the finals. Nani. You need this point to stay alive. With this elimination, anything goes, and I'm going for it. I just want to toss this girl around because she's my worst enemy, and I need to win this. Are you ready? <laughs> Jesus. 
You got this, Nani? Let it go, Nani. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Nani. Nani takes Teresa and just hip checks her. And Teresa hits the ground so hard, I actually feel the ground shake. There you go, roll over, Teresa. Once you get it on your stomach, there you go, Teresa. There you go, Nani. Get your whole body on it, Teresa. Hey, girl, Keep your body weight on her. Pull, Nani. Lean back, Nani. Pull hard, Nani. Hold on, Teresa. Roll it towards your head, Nani. I can feel how much energy she's really putting into this, and sooner or later, I know she's just gonna kind of gas out. There you go. There you go, Teresa. Fight. You're taking me? No, 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 I'm kicking, I'm kicking, I'm kicking. You're not taking me, all right. There you go, there you go, fight. Keep forcing that knee down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put on her face. I don't care that I'm kicking her in her face. Hopefully, knock out a tooth or something. Sorry, not sorry. Relax. She's biting me. You got your knee in my face, bitch. Relax. There you go, Teresa. These girls are doing every dirty move in the book, kicking each other in the face, and it's really tough to see who has got the upper hand. Take it. That's yours. You got it, Teresa. You got one hand on it. Let it go, Nani. There you go. Just like that. Pull it. Get on top of it. How bad do you want this final? Fight. Fight, baby. There you go. Get your knee on your hand. There you go. You got this, Nani. Yes. Yeah. 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 You're in the final. Yeah. You're in the final, baby. Yeah. Hey, day. Yeah. Hey, day. Pulling this X away from Nani yeah. wraps everything up into a giant present to beat them and make it to a final. This is epic for me. All right, girls, you ready? Susie ready. Kimberly ready? Being in the ruins really sucks, but I really want $30,000 in my personal bank account, so I'm just going to hold on for dear life. It's really brutal and exhausting. I'm really surprised how difficult it is to pull the rope out of Kimberly's hands. Who wants to die? Who is willing to die? Watching Kim and Susie go at it is quite impressive. They're working very hard, they're tired, they're bleeding. This is a hard one. She's out of rope. Keep that arm in there, Susie. Go, go! Who was it? I don't know. That was close. I'm nervous because they both hit the bell, it seems like, at the same time. All right, boys. Marlon and Jordan won that first round. So Marlon and Jordan, one more, and you guys win. Leroy and Ty, you guys have to win to stay in the game. There's no way that I'm gonna just let Marlon overpower me like this, Division I football player or not. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. I'm pretty sure that Jordan and Marlon have this in the bag. I'd be shocked if Leroy and Ty pull anything out of their ass. You guys ready? I don't know what happened. Who set a flame on the Leroy and Ty's ass? But Ty looks like he gets shot out of a cane. Get it, Ty! Get it, Ty! Get it, Ty! Get it, Ty! Watching Ty and Leroy push back Jordan and Marlon is awesome. It's one step closer to getting this arrogant little out of the house.
This jungle is so nerve-wracking. I want to turn around right now, and I want Nani to just tell me when it's over. All right, boys, the score is one to one. Next point wins. I've never been more nervous in my entire life. This third round, it's a toss-up. Nothing gets past me. Me and my boy working, sweating like some athletes. Check your back sheet, then check the last heat. This is Pat's teeth, then we kill him when they trap me. Ty is right next to the bell. Leroy's got Joan pinned. It's like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? Ty's literally three feet from the bell. We're sitting here thinking at any moment he's gonna break free and ring this bell. Going into our first elimination round and winning is just more on cloud nine, yo. Let's go, baby. We competed and we won. Like, that's the best feeling ever. Siobhan ready? Nisa ready? Go! I go bananas. And I am ready to essentially, like, fight this girl. <gasps> I really don't know what's going on. All I know is that I see two hooks laying on the ground and Anissa and the boob girl just duking it out. Not even going for rings. You're choking me! What the f***? You gotta go for the hook. You gotta go for the hook. Don't punch me in my face next time. No, I didn't I'm punch don't me. Don't punch me in my face. Don't choke me. Nisa, one more. You win. Siobhan, you need to pick it up. This isn't really a friendly competition. These girls are just kind of angry at each other and ready to chick fight. And I'm so ready for chick fights. You know what to do, ladies? You got to get in there and get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. You got to go after her. Right now, we're not even wrestling to win these rings. Yeah. She's swinging her fist at me. I'm kicking her. We're literally brutally fighting. No hitting. Ah. No punching. Ah. No punching. Ah. No punching. Ah. No punching. Ah. You gotta go for her hook, Siobhan. 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 Take it. Joss has no idea the hell that's about to be brought upon him tonight in this ring. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't give a Derek, he looks like a little squirrel. I'm going to put this guy through his paces. Well, it feels awesome to be back, as always. I didn't think I'd be here as a mercenary. So now I gotta fight off the challenge bull. I've never seen him before. I have no idea who he is. I'm gonna do all the guys up here a favor and beat the f out of Joss. All right, Joss, Derek, you guys ready? I think getting rid of Joss is gonna do everyone a favor in this game. I mean, we've seen the guy run up the Rock of Gibraltar without taking a breath. So he is gonna be a huge roadblock for all the guys in this game. I think Derek might have met his match. I see a future vendetta. These two will either become best friends after this or never talk to each other again. All right, guys, you ready?
Olympic is seriously the most intense elimination I have ever seen. It's hard to watch, but it's hard to keep your eyes off. Someone could get hurt. Someone could die. <laughs> like, this is no joke right now. Let's go, get the hands on there. Let's go, boys. All right, boys, you ready? Looking at me number one, and I say it proudly. I don't give a what, all of y'all gon' give it up. Hit you with a truck, they gon' have to come and scrape you up. I don't think Joss was expecting this. The fight that I've seen from Derek, this guy has zero quit. Ever. This is the hardest fought battle I have ever seen in an elimination. I've never met such an angry little person in my life. He is the most stubborn little Rottweiler, but I'm here to win, so I got this. way too good. I haven't seen somebody this evenly matched in a long time. So, we're gonna hang that eight. It's gonna be sudden death. First point wins. It all comes down to this. You guys ready? These guys are just absolute titans. Neither one will quit. I think they're both in a tremendous amount of pain, and I actually start to feel bad that I voted Joss into this. And if he wins, I'm gonna be in a bad spot. So I'm just hoping that he doesn't come back. Come on, Joss! Because you went out of bounds, you'll need to reset the center of the ring. Joss, you got this! Joss, let's go! You guys ready? It's just round after round after round, and these guys are absolutely beating the out of each other. It's like a street fight, and neither one of these guys is gonna ever give up. Stop, All right, guys, you ready? Joss actually thinks it's over, but what he's done is he's left the ring and thought that Derek left the ring as well when he hasn't. So Joss is f***ed up here. That's it, that's it. It was my bad I lost. I thought we weren't out of the ring. I let go, he scored. But you know what, he put up a good fight, and so did I. So I went out with the ban. Derek, you're a monster. The people that are at home watching this right now, I'm sure you guys are shocked. And I'm just like, I just can't believe it. Congratulations. You are safe from elimination. These girls cannot do anything right. Guess who's left to do the dirty work? Now, which girl are you going to send into the elimination round? 
to go against Kayla. Jenna. Oh! Oh! Nice. The plan to put Kayla in worked out great, but now that Jenna's a new target, I feel really guilty about the situation, but um, it's a dirty game, so that's the way the cookie crumbles. Well, first I'd start off with this. I did her a favor the first challenge. She shouldn't even be here. Jenna. There's two girls left over there. Which girl is leaving the game? Latoya. OK, so Jemmy, you're saved. You I owe, owe her. her one. I know that. You owe her. I, I don't owe anyone in this game anything, Jenna included. She just stepped me in the back and put me in. Cold. Oh. Jemmy has just crowned herself the the grimiest, dirtiest broad in this game. If anyone here ever thought that Jemmy had a pulse, they're dead wrong. The one team who just bought their ticket to the final, and it's the power couple, Sarah and Jordan. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my god, guys. Oh, my god. Good job. Good job, bro. Good job. No more worries. No more somebody possibly voting us in. No more somebody possibly stabbing me in the back. We're there, and I feel like I want to cry. Well done, you guys. Good job. It's time for you guys to deliberate and decide which group you want to send into the elimination against Leroy and Naya. This is a big decision, so who's it going to be? Right now? Yeah, right now. We're going straight to the elimination, the place where I didn't want to be before the final. But on the bright side, at least I know I'm going against the rookies. You know I love you guys. Sarah and Jordan will never say our names. We've been working together since day one. I can't help but sit there and kind of pat myself on the back saying like, hey, you did it, dude. You uh, you picked the right, the right ponies in the beginning of this game. Oh, No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Who's it going to be? Oh, Come on. Who's it going to be? No. Who's it going to be, guys? Oh, All the blood rushes out of my body. It's not going to be easy. And it's going to come at a serious price. I've learned from the best in these games. And the things I've learned from the best have helped them win in the past. And I'm hoping that it'll help me win this time. So the team I want to pick, unfortunately, is bananas and not You're lying, Sarah. Don't f around. Don't f around. They executed arguably the most calculated, callous, and uh, heartless move ever in challenge history. Bananas has a ton of cash. He's a strong player. He's won six of these. I want to go against him. The Troika will decide three people to go into the Inquisition. I just need to convince the Troika to send in bananas. Give them to me. You have you are no. Here. Give him to me. Let me beat that and send him home. I would be able to make that happen. I feel super comfortable saying Banana's name, but I'm not sure if Zach or Tony is going to take the bait. I mean, Tony has looked up to Bananas since forever. Begging. Let me light him up. OK, I got you. Give him to me. You the Banana Man? Give him to me. Just do me solid. Zach will vote for Nelson. So I really need to convince Tony, because he is the swing vote, that I can beat Bananas. Take a page out of Bananas' book. He would do this to you. Let me beat him. I'll keep around the idea. Please. OK. That's all I want. I consider Johnny as like a big brother figure out here. From my first season to now, he's always kind of looked out for me. I'm your boy. I'm looking out for you, dude. All right? He's been the big dog. I've been big, dumb puppy dog in this house. I'm Scotty Pippen. You know who he is? If y'all are trying to come at Michael, that's not OK. You guys, as the Troika, had to choose three guys to bring into the Inquisition. And you chose Leroy, Bananas, and Nelson. You guys got to pick Zach. Who's it going to be? Nelson, I'm really sorry, man. My vote's going to be for you. All it takes is one more vote for me to go in against my boy, Devin. I definitely feel like I'm going in because I do not have an alliance with none of these guys. Kayla, how about you? Nelson didn't say my name last week when I went in against Marie, so I'm not going to say him. Uh, I'm going to go bananas. All right, so that's one for Nelson. 
and one for bananas. But it all comes down to this. Tony, who's it gonna be? Bananas, since I started these things, man, you know I've basically looked up to you. I've learned a lot from you, and I think if you were in my position, you'd make the same choice. Me and Nelson, we haven't had the best past. So, I'm sorry, Nelson, but uh, you're gonna have to wait a little longer to go into elimination, buddy. Bananas, all those for you. I could just feel the steam coming off Banana's face. He is pissed. Not only am I shocked, TJ is probably shocked. The people that are at home watching this right now, I'm sure you guys are shocked. And I'm just like, I just can't believe it. It's Tony Tom, we gotta pull the trigger. Tonight, Tony went from hero to legend. Heroes will be remembered, but a legend will never die. And Tony just cemented his place in challenge history. Let's go! Nelson and I are gonna team up. We're going to pull and then work together and pull Corey across and then race for our belt. Essentially to make sure Corey loses. Me and Nelson, we've said all day we're gonna work together. Let's be smart about this. Right when TJ blows that horn, let's run to the same point. Let's drag Shane. And um, I'm kind of looking at Nelson. But he's not really making eye contact with me. You know, I'm getting a weird vibe. Can I trust this guy? Can I not trust him? What's going on? Maybe I need to switch up my strategy too. Maybe I'm playing checkers and this is a chess game. So I'm gonna win no matter what I have to do. All right, boys, you ready? could take an hour, and the boys took a second. Go, go, go! Oh! Something's up. Yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Wow! Nelson played them both. Good for him. Get it any way you can. Welcome to the challenge. Okay, you just played me. Nelson went behind my back, and um, I'm upset. All right, Nelson, you got to the bell first, so you're safe. Corey, Shane, you're up. Round two. I just like the, you're the sneaky claim I am. I played the middle part, bro. Yeah, you played Corey. You played the middle part, bro. You played Corey. <laughs> Stop. Nelson was able to get to the bell because he was able to play both sides. <laughs> Nelson is the true snake. He screwed us both over. Use that anger. Use it. Use it. Come on, Corey. Are you going to split the winnings with Sarah, or are you going to take the whole entire $275,000 yourself? Um. Learn from the best in these games. Hate weighs heavy on the heart. This is Johnny and Judas. That's what we're going to refer to this team as, OK? Back, back, uh, Whoa. Sorry. Did you do that on purpose? No. I put money above our friendship. Take this knife out of my back. We're going to Argentina! I told you we could be friends. There's no way that I would have made it to a final and won a final without Sarah as my partner. But I feel like Adam in the Garden of Eden right now, being tempted by this uh, apple hanging from a tree. It's very rare in life that you uh, have certain moments that can literally change the course of your life. Um, I've dedicated nine years of my life and uh, 13 challenges. I don't know how many I, I got left in me of these. Sarah was an amazing partner. I could not have done it without her. As far as our rivalry is concerned, I consider that completely dead. Um, there's no spite, there's no malice towards her. 
Um, but I need to uh, Please. look after myself and invest in my future. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the money and run, teacher. <sighs> All right, Bananas. Well, you just secured your spot as the one person that has made the most money on any challenge in history. $275,000 all for yourself. And Sarah, I'm really sorry, but this means that you get nothing. I'm sorry. Great job, you guys. I don't even know what to think about this. I have a guilty conscience and a heart and I'm a normal human being and I would split it with my partner because they couldn't get there without each other. Bananas needed her as a partner, and the fact that he didn't acknowledge that by splitting this money with her, that's ruthless. And the high road's definitely splitting it 50-50, but 275000 will go a long way, and he had every right to take all of it. That greedy tool, for him to take all of the money is a classic Bananas move. And I hope now that people can see him for his true colors which is a backstabbing liar. I'm sorry, sir. And I don't want to hear it, but I'm sorry. Are you going to dance? Are you going to cry? This is your life. I just feel like <laughs> he has played with me the whole time. I worked so hard. <sighs> I know the feeling. I'm ready to be done with this. Hunter and Ashley. Winning the final reckoning is pure bliss. It is something that I have waited my entire life to hear. I am now a challenge champion. I'm so angry and I can't even shake their hands. I can't even say congratulations. We deserve this win. And I don't feel like Natalie and Polly have any sort of remorse that they probably just us out of a million dollars. So congratulations, but now it's the ultimate decision time. One of you scored higher than the other. The one person who's making the ultimate decision, whether they want to split the money with their vendetta or to keep the money all to yourself. And the individual winner of Final Reckoning by 31 seconds is Ashley. So Ashley, it's your decision. You either split the money with Hunter, the one that got you here, that helped you make it all the way, or Keep the entire million dollars all to yourself. Take your time. It's a big decision. That's a lot of money. Life changing. TJ, all those things you said about all the other partners is true, but this guy's belittled me, put me down, slut shamed oh me, God. and also threatened my life and my family's life. I'm keeping the money. Oh my God. Duh. Oh my God. I mean, I would say I feel bad, but I don't because this is nothing compared to what I went through all season. You say walking through hell, I live through hell. Your self-worth is something you can't get back. And when someone belittles you so much. I don't know, I just don't feel like she's that good of a person. So it's hard for me to want to talk to her. My partner's crying because she regrets sleeping with Kyle. <laughs> These guys pick on us because they know that we're strong. They I know, but that's have. the thing with Hunter. I expected him to be better. I'm sick of her popping off at the mouth, thinking she can say everything she wants to at any point in time. I'm over it. I walk off. I decided there's no way he deserves this. You guys, to each and every team here, I want to apologize to all of you personally. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't throw this final. I knew that this was going to happen. I'm sorry that I didn't throw this final. We all know the right thing to do would be to split the money. But come on, guys. Hunter was an ass to her. And unfortunately, this was her final reckoning. 
and you got screwed, bud. Hunter, nothing you could have done differently would have changed this. Ashley doesn't even take a goddamn split second and a half. She had this plan from the moment she set foot in the final. Ashley has now taken $1 million, but also the title of biggest ass in challenge history. Oh my God, you will burn in hell for this. And karma will come at you for the rest of your entire life. I hope mm -hmm. you know that God's got a special You've plan You've already for you. threatened my life, and you've threatened my family's life. What you're making is the craziest accusation. No, there. that slut costs me a million dollars. I'm coming for her family. Is not all what was said? I, I never that. said slut. I would have never done that to you. Kyle, I'm good. Kyle, is this stupid slut? No, it's more for a million dollars. I'm coming for a family. You played me. That's what you talked about. You played me all the entire season. season. No, all season, you that is me. how you talk. Ashley, you're the craziest person here. No one can deal with you. I stood beside you we the whole time. We in. You I did went, not do this alone. I was alone. You did season. not do this alone. Today's challenge is called Backstabber. And no, you guys are not playing down here on the sand. You're playing 600 feet in the air on the top of that building. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Simple challenge, guys. All you gotta do is walk the plank. Sorry, guys. You're not having a beach day. But you can walk across that building up there that's 600 feet tall. And I'm like, <laughs> no. See those three balance beams at the very top? Those balance beams are what you guys are gonna be walking on. There are three X's at the end of every beam. The left X is for the person on the left beam. The middle X is for the one in the middle, the right is for the right. The first person out there will slap an X of their choosing and drop someone from the sky. There's two types of people in this world. There's people who say they like heights and there's liars. I am totally terrified to be up here. So uh, what I'm hoping is that either Derek or Jordan can set the fastest time on this. I've already promised both of them allegiance. So it's pretty close to a certainty that neither Jordan nor Derek is going to drop me. I like heights. We got a great view, so that's a plus. You know, we got these butterflies going, let you know you're alive. This is, this is what you do the challenge for. This is what you come for. I need to win bad. I mean, there's a lot on the line right now. The power, the control of this game lies right here. All right, Bananas, Jordan, Derek, you ready? Oh. Ha! There, you got it. I'm coming for you, D. Dude, it was the closest one! I'm coming for you. I don't know what the f my whole life just flashed before my eyes, dude. I love you, man. I love you. Am I doing your dirty work? What's going on here? As you can see, there's a giant wall with a bunch of holes in it suspended over the water. And there are two bars through those holes. To begin, all four players are gonna get on that platform. Two players on one side of the wall, two players on the other. Your goal is to make it from one platform to the other using only those two bars as a walkway. All right, guys, you ready? <laughs> That's good, yeah. That's perfect. Thanks, Isaac. Knowing that I could possibly fall is the scariest thing ever. You're nervous, and the wind's blowing, and the, the crane is shaking, and everybody's looking. The is nerve wracking. A little more, maybe a little more. Leroy's got big ass feet. There you go, I did. Shaking. I'm sorry, but. I'm looking down at the water, or trying not to, and the wind starts blowing, and all I can think of is hang on for dear life. Nice job. All right, we're getting out. Here we go, here we go. Let me know when you guys are on. We're good. I'm not big on talking a big game and being cocky. I hate it. I hate the sense of entitlement she has. How's that? All right, you're done. 
now's the time for you to forget about all of your bad blood, because today you're going to need a lot of communication and trust. Today you're playing Give Me Some Slack. As you can see, there's a giant apparatus out here suspended 400 feet over the crashing waves. There are also some skulls hanging off the side. Your goal is to retrieve as many skulls as you can as fast as possible. Nicole and Dario, you ready? Go! Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, I got you, Dario, I got you, no, I got you, I got you. Dario, you're fooling me, you. Dario, you're oh, okay, me. Okay. less. Okay. God. Go ahead. She's yelling at me, I'm yelling at her. We're like two minutes into this thing, and we're already yelling at each other. I got, I got you, I got you, I got you. Don't worry, let's go, move on. Here we go, come on. Come on, it's about to be. It's a race, let's go. All right, ready, I got you. Let me know, more or less. Less, pull it a little All right, I got you. A little slack. Yeah, I got Tight you. With those long fingers, baby, let's go. Okay, a little, let's go, Nicole. Little. There you Woo! go, good job, Nicole. Yeah. Okay, out, tighten it. My stomach is just doing flips and flops and turns. I'm staring straight down at the ground. If Jesus wanted me to fall from the sky, he would have given me wings. Okay, a little, 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 little. Good, Good Jess. Job. Hey, back, 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 back. Johnny, back. Woo. Come on, come on. You gotta lean with me, Jesse. You gotta lean with me. Good job. Nicole. You're good, Jess. Let's go. Let's... Wait, 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 wait. Let's go. My Ready, pace, last? my pace. Dario last. pulls way too hard for my weight, and when he's yanking, I feel like I'm gonna fall, so I have to just yell at him any which way so he understands that if he pulls me off of this, we're done. All right, here we go, here we go. Pull it a little tight. Yeah, I got you, tight. I got you, don't tight. worry. Tight, tight, tight. There you go, Nicole. Okay, a little, a little, a little, a little. I'm leaning. I don't hear his voice. I don't hear anything encouraging coming out of his mouth. I don't think he has any faith in me whatsoever. Lean. Yeah. Lean. Okay. Back, 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 back. Oh! 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 That's a scary. Oh. Riley, okay. Help. Well, I got the skull. <sighs> you die. The term epic is overused a bit, but this is epic, guys. Today, you guys are going to be playing Skybridge. You're definitely gonna have to mend some fences today. As you repair a rope bridge 1,000 feet above Hermanus. But I think we should move together, right? Sure. Because then it'll be a, more tension, or no? I don't know, I think I should get down there and then you should pump. Okay, I'm gonna be a scared little Second Amanda, Joss and Sylvia, you guys ready? Hey guys, come on babe. A little bit more so, a little bit more. All right, Amanda, come on. I'm coming. Reach out and get it around that okay. thing. All right. Man, that's not too tight, huh? You gotta wrap it around more, babe. I have to undo it to do that. You're just gonna have to chill, bro. Today's biggest challenge is convincing Amanda that she's not worthless. Let like yours out. I can't. Amanda, you're gonna have to stop saying I can't. Shut up. We're flopping around like it's Joss's wimp. Let yours out. Joss never has a lip. Five minutes, guys. Let's go. I can't get it. Dude, I'm gonna drop. That's your not. It's ridiculous. Just try. Dude, look how loose that one is. Chill the f out. I can't. Come on, Amanda. Shut up, Zach. <laughs> jump off a cliff, then be Zach's partner, that has to tell you something. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. All right, Marie, Leroy, let's go! I'm feeling confident. I'm not afraid of the water. I need to do this for my team. Cam and Jemmy just blew it. There is $500,000 at stake, and it is very important to win. You got it, Marie! I'm feeling confident. I gotta get this win today because I need to be in a striker and I wanna get some money in my bank account. in the water face down. Not swimming, not moving. I'm freaking out right now. It's back, yo. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I'm terrified, man. I mean, watching your best friend emerge out of the water, lifeless, it's absolutely terrifying. Now slip. 
It just seems like a curse. Every season, it seems like something bad happens to Leroy. He might have really seriously injured himself, and I'm hoping that he's OK. Yeah, get back, get back, get back. All right, everybody. Welcome to Panama City, Panama. This is your first challenge on Battle of the X's 2. <laughs> You guessed it, we're in a big city with very big buildings. You guys are gonna be going from one of these tall buildings to the other on a tightrope that is suspended 500 feet in the air. The challenge just comes up with new ways to just instill a fair god in us. I love this stuff, man. This is crazy. It's gonna come down to communication. Hopefully we can bring it together. Our communication and our relationship was above average until the end, but when things were good, I thought we communicated very well. Yeah, and so you stopped talking to me. Until I stopped talking to her, <laughs> then they were really bad. You ready? Outside of the game, I do not trust Wes whatsoever, but when it comes to money in a competition, I'm his partner, so I have to trust him. Kind of relying on him right now to not drop me. I'm really hoping that Teresa can knock this out fast, because I need to be put back onto solid ground as soon as possible. All right, Zach, Johnny! Teresa, Wes, you ready? Yeah. Oh my god, Zach, hold on. John A looks like a baby deer on ice. Her knees are wobbling, she's swinging all around. This is pretty pathetic. Good job, so good. She's falling quite a bit. And at first, that's really scary because I'm spending a lot of time curling her back up. What is happening is every time she's falling, she's actually pulling me. She's falling in the right direction. You going, girl? I can't pull you. Zach is gigantic, and Johnny's arms are like toothpicks. So there's no way she's dragging him across that rope. Nice job, so Teresa. Now I'm gonna pull. Zach, no, no, don't pull the rope. What are you doing? I'm holding you up. No. Oh my God. If this is any indication of how this Battle of the X's 2 is going to go for me, it's not going to be very good. No, no, no. Little, little step, little step, little step. Keep going. Keep going. This is definitely a hard challenge. Not only are you suspended in the air, but you're working with someone who you don't really get along with. I just feel a lot of pressure. Am I there? No, no, no. Little... Both feet! Both feet! Uh, uh. 